I'm Nicola Schuller, I'm a hair and makeup artist. I'm Lou Tisell and I'm a hair and makeup artist too. I went to London College of Fashion and I studied fashion styling for hair and makeup. I did the same. I was a couple of years behind Nicola. In my perspectives, when I wanted to go there, which I just used to look at every day because it talked about the course, the actual main picture, Nick had done that. That was my first bit of like ever published work. I and was it was 16. in the perspectives. When she says that, that actually makes me want to cry. Yeah. <laughs> got into TV and I started assisting and that was like a pure lucky break I think someone recommended me I was working on a makeup counter I got a phone call one day it was a magic show and I just couldn't believe it I still pinch myself a little bit about sort of where I am with my career I met an artist he was doing the X Factor and that job just takes over your life and then that was it I knew that I definitely wanted it as a career the key to a really good assistant is quiet initiative and being like right okay those brushes need cleaning, like not being like having to be asked to do it, just to kind of get on with those little things. You're pretty much the, the dog's body. You've got to tidy up everything all the time, keep it super clean, make the teas and coffees, be there before your lead and leave after your lead and make sure they're all sorted. It's just harder than you think and you've got to put that in for a long time with a lot of people to then then start trusting you. Obviously I work for One Direction, so I have all of these millions of followers now. I've actually changed my career quite a lot mm. based around having that, doing things like what we've done today. I don't know if it would have been possible without the reach. The biggest piece of advice I would give anyone if you really want this as a career is you need to move to where the industry is. You need to move there and I think there's something about moving somewhere new as well that really drives you to keep going until you get somewhere. I think my advice is never get an ego because I've learnt stuff this week from the students. One of our main kind of messages and what's really important to us is that we really want to get these people into work and using these beauty trades. If it gives one person a job, that makes me happy.